Welcome to another part of my uh, World Cup series. Uh, we've done the previews of all the team. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a little review of all the round of games per group. Uh, this video will talk about Group A and what's been happening there, and we'll preview uh, the games coming up. So South Africa played Mexico. It was 1-1. Uruguay played France. It was 0-0. I predicted, by the way, 1-1 for the opening game and 0-0 for the second game, so I was correct there. Um... Fairly predictable. I thought Mexico would be the better team in the first um, in the first game. Uh, they have the better players, so I expected them to score. But then again, I knew that if South Korea could get confident, could get passionate with the crowd behind it, they could become dangerous. So I thought it would even out at a draw. That's actually what happened. Um, Mexico, of course, should have scored in the first half. They were they they started very well, and uh, South Africa started very weakly. But they didn't score, and when you don't score, you know, you know what you've been doing becomes at some point uh, useless. I mean, it doesn't really matter how good you play; you need to score a goal. You know, with Mexico, you start and you play that good in the first fifteen, twenty minutes, and you don't score. You know, it's such a waste because then, of course, they allow South Africa to get into the game. They allow them to get more comfortable, more confident. That's what happened, you know, as the first half progressed, Mexico had to switch back a gear, South Africa started playing a little bit more reasonably. At the end is, uh, of the first half, South Africa had a few good corners, and they started getting a little bit dangerous. And then, of course, in the second half, you know, South Africa was the dominant team. They were the better team. I mean, look at the chances. Of course, Jabalala scored a great 1-0. It was a good combination in midfield, a good pass. Jabalala uses speed and shot the ball in uh, brilliantly. They deserved a 1-0 lead, but then there was also the deflected ball that ended up into the right in front of Modise. He could have scored. Modise had another chance when he went alone in front of goal. He possibly could have had a penalty um, as the defender did push him away, but yeah, it was a, doubt, a doubtful penalty anyway. And then, then uh, of course, Impela, Impela at the very last second hit the post you know, these could have been goals. I mean, they could have scored more than one goal in that second half. Whereas Mexico created quite a few chances and put a lot of pressure on the South African goal in the first half. Second half, they had very little to say. And it was actually a very silly defensive error that gifted them the one lawn, the, the equalizer. When Mokoena uh, forgot to use the offside trap and all of a sudden there were three Mexicans alone in front of the South African goal. Unfortunate uh, for South Africa. Unfortunate for Mexico that didn't score in the first half hour. But uh, unfortunate for South Africa that once they started dominating in the second half, they couldn't uh, keep their lead. But all in all, 1-1 was a fair result. Uh, and it, yeah, it still has plenty of perspective uh, for both teams in the rest of the games. You know, look at France, Uruguay. I expected Uruguay to defend like they did in 2002 against France. Uruguay knows that they can defend, you know, they can play passionately, disciplined. And they also know that France usually should have a better team. So the answer is then to just defend and uh, hope you can maybe score in a counter-attack. Well, that didn't happen, but they did manage to keep a clean sheet. And France couldn't really do anything. They lacked the spirit, they lacked the passion, they lacked creativity to really score a goal. Although they did get a chance after four minutes, Govou could have scored. You know, if that goal goes in, it could be a different game. France could end up winning it 3-0. But, you know, it didn't go in, so it was 0-0. I would say, you know, Mexico showed in that first half that they were an excellent team. France have showed once again that probably they're not going to go that far in the tournament unless things really change. Uruguay showed that they're limited as a team, but they do know how to defend. And South Africa shown that they too are limited as a team, but with the passion uh, and the crowd behind it, you know, strange things can happen. You know, if they can dominate Mexico in that second half with the crowd behind it and, and really, you know, create lots of chances, then, you know, why shouldn't they be able to do that against Uruguay and France? I don't think Uruguay and France at the moment are playing better football than Mexico, so... Looking at those second games, you know, I guess before the tournament started, Mexico would win the group ahead of South Africa, 
France coming in third, Uruguay coming in fourth. Now looking at the second games, I think South Africa are playing Uruguay. I think they can win. I called it a 1-0 victory for them. still think that's quite likely. I think Uruguay, yeah, possibly we, should, we, we could see a different Uruguay in this game. But um, so far I would say Uruguay are... Uh, yeah, I think South Africa will start in this game with more confidence and a little bit more um, passion because they were very nervous for the open game. They were also unsure on whether or not they would be able to perform at this level. And now that they know that they could have beaten Mexico, then you know they should also know that they could beat Uruguay. That could give them the edge. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see that game. And then the, the second game, of course, France-Mexico. Mexico, I think, lately have been playing better than France have. France have had trouble scoring against absolutely everybody. So, uh, although the Mexican defense did show some weakness against South Africa, I think France is still going to have trouble scoring, and I'm not sure. You know, I, I think Mexico can beat France. And that's, of course, what I predicted as well before the tournament. I predicted 2-1 victory for Mexico. So I'm not really changing that view I still think that's likely. I think my predictions are likely to come true in this case. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, there should be some interesting games. But I'm still saying Mexico and South Africa are going to go through. All right, anyway, that's it for my uh, little analysis of what's been going on in Group A so far. All right, thank you.